Hey there, sledheads. I got a quick tip for you on snowmobile seat repair for small repairs. So the tip that I'm going to give you is to use shoe goo instead of duct tape or RTV. And uh, I'll show you a quick repair on Lonnie's seat here. And then I'll show you a couple of repairs that I've made a while ago. Uh, one of them's been lasting for years. This stuff really works great, so check it out. Okay, I think you can see Lonnie's seat starting to pull apart at the seams back here. And Lonnie doesn't want to spring for a new seat cover just yet. So I told him I'd do this shoe goo for him. Um, this is literally meant to repair the soles of your shoes, but it's tough, it's durable, it's way better than uh, RTV. So we're going to give this a try. Guess we'll just connect them there. Yeah, a little bit of a tear back here. Working it in all the way into the fabric there. So there we go. I'm not claiming this is the best looking repair in the world, although I will claim it looks better than duct tape when it's done. So, uh... That's it. That's all I'm going to do, and then I'm going to let it sit. So uh, I'll take you over to the cold part of the shop, show you some repairs I did a while ago. It's, it's about zero degrees right now, so this is a perfect time to show you. All right, well, Farley and I are out here in the cold part of the shop right now. Uh, this is an unheated area. It's zero degrees Fahrenheit here right now. It got down to minus 10 last night. Here's a repair with the shoe goo that I did on the cross-country seat. Uh, I did that last fall, and uh, you can see that... Uh, it's nice and flexible, even at zero degrees, and it holds up well. Over here is the TXL, and I can flex it all over. And uh, this is actually, I shot it twice now, so I've flexed it twice this much. I've been riding it this way for four or five years. All right, here's the shoe goo the next day on Lonnie's seat. Look at that. Pushing pretty hard. It's not ripping out. I think that's a pretty good repair. Maybe not beautiful, but it's going to keep the water out, keep it from uh, getting wet and icy in there. And, uh, you know, it's better than just being torn. So there you go. Just a quick tip based on my personal experience. I'm not claiming Shugu is the end-all, be-all cure of everything. It's just something I tried one day on a whim, and it worked great. And I thought I'd pass it along to everybody. So if you like old sleds, these indies and leaf spring sleds and stuff, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Uh, there'll be a button appearing right about there pretty quick somewhere. And uh, please be sure to check out all the other videos, including the rebuilds of the XLTs and the Cross Country Indy. And uh, if you go back far enough, I actually did some uh, boring and honing on cylinders here in my home shop on my uh, TXL. So uh, thanks for watching.